In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play and deal five card progressive poker. It's a lot of fun. Just keep watching. Here's how you do it. So here's how you play and deal five card progressive poker. You can play this easily up with seven guys. I have a demonstration here with three. We're going to say that each one of these chips is 25 cents. And we're going to say that the ante is 25 cents. So everybody annies, and then everyone's going to get one down card. And now action on this game goes clockwise. So this player here has first action. He's going to look at his card and decide whether or not he wants to be in or out. Now, if you call out, it doesn't mean you're out of the game. It just means you're out of this round. I usually only go in on the first round whether I have a jack or better. So him holding a 7, uh, he's going to say out. This player here with a jack, he's going to be in. And the dealer with a 4, he's going to be out. Now he also has to re realize that you got to go by suit because two players could have aces. So suits go spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs. So if you guys have aces, you go by the highest suit wins. Since this player is the only player going in on this round, and no one else is going in, he automatically wins the pot. Now everyone has to re -ante. Now if the pot's right, everybody gets another card. Now from the second card to the fifth, straights and flushes count. So this player here, all he has really is a queen high. Uh, he's probably not going to go in. This player here picked up an ace. He also has a flush, so he's definitely in. And dealer picked up a straight, so he's definitely in. So whatever players are in, in this case it's this player and this player, they're going to swap cards without letting any other players look. So they're going to swap cards, look at each other's cards, they're going to determine the winner, which is this player here holding the flush. Give their card, each other their cards back. The winner is going to take the pot, and the loser is going to pay the pot. So these two players know what each other has. This player doesn't because he wasn't in on that round. So that's one advantage into going in early is to kind of figure out what players have what. So if you're playing with seven guys, sometimes there's three, four guys go in on a round and all of a sudden your pot builds up really big. So now if the pot's right, winner was determined, everybody has their own cards back, you can deal the third card. Take a look at this player's card, see what he picked up. And he still really only has a queen high. This player here. I remember he had the flush before, and now he really doesn't have anything. All he has is, is an ace high. And he's probably not going to go in. With three cards, you're probably going to need at least a pair or better to win. The dealer. He really doesn't have anything, he has a 7 high. But, since all the other players passed, the dealer is going to go in. Because he knows everyone else has a weak hand. Now, only if the dealer is the only one to go in, everyone else has a second chance to be either in or out. Otherwise, the dealer would have the advantage. If everyone passes, the dealer would always just go in and take the pot. So only if the dealer is the only one to go in, everyone else gets a second chance. So now everyone with a mediocre hand is probably going to go in. This guy here with a queen high, he's probably still going to pass. But this guy here with the ace high, he's probably going to go in, knowing that the dealer is probably bluffing. So now these two players, or whichever players went back in, are going to swap hands 
not letting anyone else see the hands, determine who the winner is, which was the ace high player right here, give each other their cards back, and now the winner is going to take the pot, loser is going to pay the pot. Now remember, this player doesn't know what anyone has because he hasn't been in on anything yet. But these two uh, pretty much know what each other has. So now that the pot's right, the winner was paid, everybody gets a fourth card. This player here is going to take a look at his hand. And he's not having too much luck. He still only has that queen high. So he's going to pass or say out. This player here, uh, he didn't pick up anything. He still has the ace high. But he did beat this player on the last round. So he's going to go in. Dealer's got, let's see, four, five, almost a straight. But he knows he can't beat this guy here because he got beat in the last round. So the dealer's going to pass. So because this was the only player that went in, he automatically wins the pot. And now everybody re -annies. So now everybody's getting their fifth and final card. Let's take a look and see if this player got any luck. He picked up an ace. He's probably not going to go in. An ace high is usually not going to win. So he's going to pass or say out. This player here, he picked up the king. He's got ace king. Ace king jack. He really doesn't have anything to go on. But he doesn't know what this player has because he, he's kind of been in on some hands with him. So we're going to say he's going to go in. See what the dealer picks up. He didn't get the straight, but he does have an ace high. And he does know what this player has. But he's probably not going to go in. So right now, this is the only player going in on the fifth card. So this player is going to turn over his cards. But since he's the only one to go in on this last uh, card, he's got to beat the top five on the deck. Which he didn't. He got a pair of tens and a pair of eights off the deck against his ace high. So he doesn't win. He has to pay the pot. So he's got to pay whatever the pot is. And now the game will continue, starts over again with one card. Shuffle the deck. I'll have to deal this game twice just so you guys can see all of the different variations what can happen while playing this game. And I'll show you how the game ends. So now we start over again. Everybody gets one card. Same rules apply. Now I go to go by suit. This player has a seven. He's got an eight. These two are gonna pass. Dealer's got a king. He's gonna go in. Now since the dealer is the only one going in, everyone else has a second chance to be either in or out. So everyone will take a look at their card again. And he's gonna stay out. And he's gonna stay out. I usually don't go in on anything unless there's a jack, so dealer's going to take the pot, and now everyone just re antes Now everyone's going to get a second card. This player here picked up a straight. He's definitely going in. This player here he picked up a straight. He's definitely going in. And the dealer, he picked up a flush. He's definitely in. So all players are in on this round. 
So if all players are in, you don't have to swap hands with each other. You can just turn over all your cards on the table because everyone is in, so everyone gets a chance to see everyone's hands. So we got a straight here, a straight here, a flush here. So dealer wins. And all the losers got to pay the pot. So now everyone can just flip their cards back over. And then everyone gets a third card. This player here, he picked up a jack, but he doesn't really have anything. Just a jack high. He's probably not going in on three cards. This player here, he picked up an ace. Uh, he no longer has a straight, he just has the ace high. He's not going to go in. And dealer no longer has the flush, he just has the king high. He's not going to go in. So if no players go in on a round, everybody just pays an ante again. So now everyone gets a fourth card. See what this player picks up. Uh, he's got a pair of sevens. He'll go in. This player here, he's got an ace king. Uh, he's probably not going to go in or pass. Dealer's hand picked up a pair of cowboys. He's going in. So, dealer and this player are in on this round. They're just going to swap hands. Take a look at each other's cards, determine who the winner is. We know the dealer with the Cowboys is the winner. Swap their hands back. Winner's the dealer, so the, the dealer's going to take the pot. In this case, there's three, six, there's nine dollars or uh, nine chips in there. So now loser has to pay the pot. Now for the fifth and final card. This player here is looking at, he's got the sevens, but really nothing else. Almost a flush. He's gonna be out. This player here just got the ace king. He's gonna go out. And the dealer still has the Cowboys, so the dealer is going to go in. Now remember, if the dealer is the only one to go in, everyone else gets a second chance to be either in or out. So that everyone else will start taking a look at their cards again, and of course, if they're not going to go in, they don't even have anything very mediocre. So all the players are going to pass, it's just up to the dealer. So the dealer's in, the dealer can just flip his cards over. Remember, if there's only one person going in on the last card, they have to beat the top five on the deck. Turn the top five cards over. And there's an ace high, so the dealer wins. Dealer takes the pot, and the game is over. Now, if the top five cards would have beat the dealer's hands, then the game starts over again and keeps going. Now, let's say there was three guys that went in on the last round, and there's one winner, so the two guys would pay the pot, and the game would continue on. The game keeps on playing until one person goes in, and that person beats the top five on the deck. That's how the game ends. Now when you play this on poker night with your friends, you may have to deal this three or four times before the game's going to actually end. It's a lot of fun. I think your friends are really going to enjoy that you brought this to the uh, poker night games. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And I thank you for watching the video.